Okay, welcome to the first in a tutorial, uh, the So Easy Your Grandma Can Do It series for the CG Brothers. That um, basically we take 3D Studio Max and Autodesk Maya, and we basically bring scenes made in one and bring in the other for rendering or whatever, and uh, vice versa. So we're going to start very very simple, and then we're going to bring up uh, later tutorials and have. A lot more complicated things for animation and other effects, things like that. So let's start with a simple one. So we'll do a primitive sphere and a ground plane and do a, a dynamic simulation and bring that into 3 Studio Max. So now we're in Maya, so let's create a primitive sphere. And we'll create a primitive cube, which would be our ground plane. Turn on shading so we can see. Okay, that's about right. And let's see, let's make it, let's make this a uh, black color. Make it a blend. Alright, and we're just going to drop this ball on the surface for a real quick dynamic simulation rigid body. Um, PhysX is integrated into Maya and Max, so we'll use that. So select the sphere, permanent sphere, and go to the tab of PhysX. And you go rigid body, create dynamic rigid body. It creates a sphere that's collision mesh around it. And we'll do the same thing for the, for the ground, but we want to make that a static rigid body. So it doesn't actually move, but it interacts with the sphere. Okay. Let's, let's increase our timeline to 115 and let's check the initial conditions for this in the channel box and see if we've got some, let's adjust the mass to be 0.1 and bouncing is 0.1 so that'll be more like a bowling ball. And let's try initial spin to be 10. See that may, may or may not be enough, but let's try it. And push play. And there you go. So it sits there and just drops. And let's see if we can increase that a little bit, maybe to 50 for initial spin. Mm, not much. I don't think it's going to ma matter too much unless I really boost that number up because of the collision mesh. So let's let's um, redo the collision mesh to make it less um, dense, or actually more dense. So let's delete that. We'll add another one around self, and it'll make a better one. There we go. So it rolls better and drop better. There we go. Okay, we can actually increase the velocity of it, so it'll actually move as well. So we've got the spin. Let's get an initial velocity of let's say five, and it moves a little bit more. So let's try 20. There we go. Kind of goes to the ground plane, but it doesn't matter for this exercise. Okay, so that kind of bounces like a bowling ball would. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to bake this scene to a, um, we want to actually bake it to keys. So let's go to rigid body and we'll bake all and it'll create keys on the very end here, all the way down the timeline. So now you can you can scrub and watch it. So here it comes, and there it goes. Okay. So now what we want to do is export this scene to Maya. I mean, sorry, to Max. And so what we want to do is file export all, and I've got FBX export. Let's export all. And we're going to go ahead and from Maya, we're going to call this ball. And what I want you to note also is that I'm convert. This is going to be in meters. I export out of Myers and Maya in meters, and then import into 3D Studio Max in millimeters. 
it just seems to work really well. So we'll export that. And we'll go ahead and launch Max. And we'll import it. That scene. So we'll import the scene. Navigate over to that actual scene we have from Maya. And it's there's the ball film box. And I want to make sure it's in millimeters. Say OK. And there's the scene. All right. And let's push that play button. And that's basically what we saw in the um, in Maya. Let's go back to Maya and look at that. It rolls off. Let's push play on this one. Does the same. 